Tomorrow marks 10 years since the Kirkwood City Hall shooting. Seven people, including the gunman Charles Cookie Thornton, died in that horrific attack. Five on your side's Daniel Wynn was in Kirkwood today as the city prepares to remember those lost. And Daniel's, you spoke with a council member who went to high school with Thornton, right? Yeah, that's right. Paul Ward has been a council member for several years. He is now the deputy mayor. He wasn't in the council chambers the night of the shooting, but knew pretty much everyone in the room, including the gunman. My son called me, he was driving by City Hall, and he says, Dad, there's police cars from all over at City Hall, and something's going on. And that is so how Deputy Mayor call Paul Ward son. first heard the news there had been a shooting at City Hall. His first instinct was to call his friend to see if he was okay. So I tried to call Mike Lynch, who uh, was a good friend of mine, and we had gone on council together, and of course he was dead. Little did he know several others were dead too. Charles Cookie Thornton had gone to the meeting upset. He was upset over fines he'd gotten for parking construction equipment on the street. It was, it was gut-wrenching um, to think that this could happen. Um, so, you know, you, I just wanted to, to get to whoever was a survivor. But City Hall was closed off. Word tells me he went to the hospital that night to comfort family members who had lost loved ones. You can't explain exactly how you feel. Uh, you feel sorrow, you feel some anger, you, you know, that, that idea of why did this happen creeps in there. In all, Thornton shot and killed five city officials and wounded the mayor who later died. Ward tells me he knew Thornton and even went to high school with him. Good people. I mean, he came from a good family. Uh, everyone loved him. Uh, most of the council considered Cookie a friend. A word tells me Kirkwood has recovered over the years, the past 10 years. He says it's still the tight-knit community it always was. All right, Daniel, thank you. And the victims of the Kirkwood City Hall will be remembered at a vigil tomorrow night. It's at 7 o'clock on the east steps of City Hall. We're told it'll last about 30 minutes. Kirkwood Road will be closed from Argonne to Monroe. That starts at 6 p.m.